All right, we're still in the June OT7 exam. The last couple of questions on page 11, starting with uh, 66 and 67. Both of those questions deal with a pop-up toy that has a mass of 0 0.02 kilograms, it's about 20 grams, and a spring constant of 150 newtons per meter. A force is applied to the toy to compress the spring 0 0.05 meters. And here's a picture of the little pop-up toy. As it turns out, I have one of these things. They're great. Little toy, uh, compress it with a force. There's a spring there, and you have to compress that with a certain amount of force. And the suction cup holds it there for a second until it pops out. Jumps up in the air. Ah! All right. So let's do this. Calculate the potential energy stored in the compressed spring. Show all the work, including the equation and substitution with units. So 66. First thing you will want to do is uh, let's write down everything we know. The mass is equal to 0 0.02 kilograms. The spring constant. Spring constant. I remember that. That was on my formula sheet. There it is, K, spring constant. We used that one before, didn't we? Okay, so we want to write down K is equal to 150 newtons per meter. It means it would take about 150 newtons to squeeze this thing down a full meter. But we're only going to apply it... Um, for a distance. And remember in springs we use X for distance because you could stretch a spring or compress it so the, the same distance from its rest position is there and it's 0 0.05 meters. And question 66 is asking us to calculate the potential energy stored in that spring. So we want potential energy in a spring. So we go to the formula sheets we got potential energy in the spring, and it's right here. Potential energy spring is one half kx squared. Well, the potential energy in the spring, so we write our equation. Potential energy is equal to one half k times x squared. Well, we have k and we have x, so we write potential energy is equal to one half of K is 150 newtons per meter times, and our X is 0 0.05 meters. Don't forget to square that. So now it's time to get the calculator out. And with your calculator, oftentimes order of operation is real important. So I'm going to start with 0 0.05 squared, 0 0.05, and then I hit the square button, point 0, 0.025, that's right. And then I multiply that by 150. And there we are. And then I take half of it, divided by 2. So the potential energy is 0.1875. Potential energy is 0.1875. Now for the units. So I'm going to have Newton meter squared per meter. So newton meters. Now I could leave it as newton meters and that would be acceptable. But I happen to remember that energy, units of energy, are joules. 0.1875 joules. Keep in mind if you don't remember that, newton meters is perfectly acceptable. Question 67. The toy is activated. And the compressed spring's potential energy is converted to gravitational potential energy. This thing jumps up in the air. Calculate the maximum vertical height to which the toy is propelled. Show all work, include the equation, and substitution with units. So the spring's potential energy was 0.1875 joules. And it's going to turn into gravitational potential energy equal to 0.1875 joules. 
now the gravitational potential energy equation is potential energy here we go change in its potential energy is mgh change in height so gravitational potential energy is equal to mgh well we know potential energy we know mass from above we know the acceleration due to gravity that's a constant that's 9.8 meters per second squared and that's on the front of your formula sheet if you forget that we're looking for height so we do a little algebra we want height by itself so we divide both sides by mg and we've got height equal to potential energy divided by mg so our potential energy is going to be 0.1875 and I'm going to use newton meters here again and we divide that by mass, which is 0 0.02 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we get our calculator out, and we hit the buttons again. I got that number already up there. So I'm going to say it's divided by parentheses 0 0.02 times 9.8 in parentheses and that's what that is and when we hit equals we come up with a height of 0.956 so our height is equal to 0.956 careful here kilogram meters per second squared well that's that's a, a newton so we lose that and that loses newtons and that leaves us with units of meters, which is good because we were looking for height. How high in the air will it go? 0.956 meters.